Welcome guys to today's episode and Little Talks Where Little Things Matter And today we are going to be talking about Comfort Zoo But before then, my name is Kazim Omonela And I am Eha Tofi So, you know this, um, everyone has always been in their comfort zone When I say comfort zone, this small, you know, a place where you've always been Where you feel most comfortable in mm. And your abilities are yet to be tested So, we are always in this um, I don't like doing this thing, or I cannot do this thing. It's not like you can't do it, it's that you've not really tried doing it. So, um, Faith, you know, look, there's something about the comfort zone that I've come to realize. It's a bit, it's a controversial topic. Okay. Because, first of all, for some people, comfort zone is, like you said, that place where your abilities have not been tested. But if we check it and actually look on the other way, it's, a, it's like a place where you get you know, peace. And you know, to some extent, if this world you live in, it's necessary that you have your peace. So I feel like it's like a two way topic, but we're going to be talking about breaking out of your comfort zone and sort of expanding your comfort, your comfort zone. zone. You, know, you know, you doing things, testing your teammates, how far you go, instead of just sitting down without. Small corner of you and just you know, and one thing that I've noticed is that white people don't actually stay long in their comfort zone mostly because of fear. I think fear is like the ultimate factor why people don't go at their comfort zone because you are constantly like, Can I make it? You're not aware of what's outside and you don't want to dive into unknown certainty. So people are like afraid of going and well, I feel um, being in your comfort zone is because you are too comfortable there that you don't want to try doing stuff. You don't want to try doing new things. Like you feel doing new things that uh, you're not sure if you're good at, so you just don't want to give it a try. You rather continue with the parts you you think you're very or you know you're very good at. So instead of like, you no, know, when it's just like succeeding a part, then being asked to stop and try something new that you know you might fail so you don't want to even try it you just want to continue succeeding yeah. so that's i think that's why most people stay in their comfort zone no people should like get comfortable with being uncomfortable you know like me for example i've always been stay whereby i am constant of when i'm comfortable i'll be like oh my, i'm getting too comfortable i don't know why but it happens to me a lot at some point i feel like i'm being too comfortable i need to i need to work harder i need to do something i need i still need to find my way around like it should become a normal thing we shouldn't be scared of doing, doing something new, things. new yeah something new something unpredictable because that's really that's where the growth happens mm-hmm. because i found out that comfort zone doesn't really allow us to maximize our potential because we are just Hey, you can't. You won't go. You don't know what your what are the possibility. What are the possibilities available out there for you? So you are like submerged in where you are without any avoid. But if you try to leave your comfort zone, that's where the growth happens. You see yourself, you know, venturing into abilities, into potentials that you don't even know you can come up with. So that happens a lot of times. Now, you know, the uh, most enjoyable thing in life is you having goals you want to pursue. Yeah. And, you know, striving towards that goal is something that everyone wants to, so everyone go through. Now, what people don't know is being in your comfort zone is a very big dream snatcher. Like, most people tend not to achieve these things because they've, they're not ready or they've not accepted moving out of their comfort zone thereby you know hindering them from doing trying new things new opportunities taking risks you know life is all about risks so because you don't want to take risks you rather stay in what you already know how to do yeah. now and you know their 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 faces everyone would face coming out of coming out of a comfort zone i wouldn't want you to think um getting out of your comfort zone is just like opening the door to your house and stepping out yeah. No, it's not as easy as that. It's a gradual process and it takes like, it's just like a life-changing experience. You know, moving from 
um, being a bad person to a good person. And it takes a lot of work and um, a lot of energy. So um, we are, there, are, there are things you would go through in life. There are, there are things you go through coming out of your comfort zone. And these things are, first, you would be scared. Trust me. That's like, like a big one. That's the number one of it all. Like, you would be so scared. Now, don't get me wrong. Getting scared is, is it's, um, it's a normal thing in getting out of your comfort zone. It's a very normal thing and it's, um, it's something everyone would go through. As long as you don't allow your fear override you, you don't allow the fear, you know, um, set you back to where you're coming from. Try to get rid of it, try to, you know, conquer it and continue with your pursuit. Now, the other thing is, aside from the fact that you get scared, you would fail. Now, it's not, it's not a curse, it's not... Um, yeah. People are scared of the failure. The failure now, which is not... Yeah. Exactly. As long as the failure is not um, cat uh, catastrophic, you know, it's it's a normal thing. Like you have to, you would fail. And some one good thing about failing is you would um, you learn from it, exactly. which leads us to the third uh, phase. When you fail, you know you stand up, you, you learn more, and you become stronger. So you um you learn. The third step of the phase is you learning. So you learn new things. You learn things that you didn't even realize you're capable of doing. You learn things that are even much fun to you, or things that you'd rather even do. It's like this discovering. Yeah, yourself. discovering. Yeah. Now that's the first thing. You, you you get to um no uh, you get to see yourself in a different way. You know when you when you do things that you didn't realize you could do. You know it's just like people oh really so I can do I could do this thing. Mm -hmm. Hey ah. That's nice, you know, it comes up. Let me, yeah. let's continue. So that's it. You get to see yourself in a total different way. And your peers also see you in a total, in a different way because, you know, they are used to seeing you um, in, in your comfort zone. So it's just like you, um, I don't know how to put it. You know, when you, when you do things that people have not really seen you doing, like you're not accustomed to this thing they are doing at that particular, they'll be like, oh, really? I thought she used to be this kind of person. I thought he used to be this kind of person. Yeah. So, and now, you know, you're doing something different. They're, they're looking at you in a total, in like in a different way. They're seeing you as a whole new being. Like, it's just surprising. You know, when you come out and you're proving to them like you're much fonder than you used to be. So now this, uh, there, there, like, there are lots, there are lots more faces that one would go through. And, of your comfort zone. I know something about the comfort zone. People think it's like a particular thing, but really it's not because one time I talked about this comfort zone because I moved out to my parents' house and that was like a big step for me personally getting out of the comfort zone. It was so big, like I really wanted to go out and explore life and all of those stuff. So for me that was me breaking out of my comfort zone because I saw I was comfortable, mad comfortable, very comfortable back then at home. So I talked about it and someone was like, so does that mean that moving out, if I don't move out of my parents' house, I'm in my comfort zone, you know? So is that that, that the everybody have their yeah. own yeah. different, different kind of kids? Like, yeah. funny um, part is you can be in your parents' house, house and still not be, like, mm -hmm. in your home not comfortable because that, you, it's possible like you are exposed to things, yeah. you are doing things right still at your parents' exactly. place. So now being at your parents' is not a cage at all. at all. Now it depends on the parents' place. You know there are some people that have been in their parents' places has really stopped them from doing a lot of things, yeah, trying exactly. out a lot of opportunities because they're uh, what would my mom say what would my dad say I know what would how people the say african mentality and you know the african parents and yeah. household is like when you are in your parents have just have just to be responsible move, exactly. even when you're not responsible like you know um, I, I was going to say like so people because of how we grew up okay. you know people will be like Growing up, they will tell you, don't do this thing. Remember where you're coming from. Remember you are from this family. Your Remember family whose child you are. Mr. Okoro Koro. You know? <laughs> and all of those stuff. So even when you go out there, you wouldn't want to do stuff. Because you'd be like, okay, let me not try it this. Because rings I'm, in your head, like... my father is Mr. Okoro Koro. And I wouldn't want to. But then what if you try... Because you wouldn't know how far you can go without yeah. trying it. You know, this has really put some limits. Really, our upbringing has really created a lot of individuals because of what the society thinks, because of 
what their parents think, what would what will happen for them. And the thing is like um the society has actually given us a way to live our lives. Yeah. Like most the thing is 90% of the people living right now are not living the way they actually want to live want, their life. Yeah, like they are living God. they are living according to what the um, society want them to do, doing things their their family want them to do, doing things doing accepting whatever the society has offered them. Now without exploring their self like most people die without um, fully bringing out their full potential. Potential as in they die without expl- you know you, you explore, you know, do things. Yeah. Take weeks. Now, when I say take weeks, I'm not asking you to fly from six-story building. Now, that's a very stupid week to take. But, but I when would, I say I would love to do skydive one day. Skydiving. You know? <laughs> yeah. Skydiving is it's, it's for people that it is for. Like no. me. <laughs> not me. But before they even throw rope, I'm not fit. You, see, you <laughs> should get out of your comfort zone. You that's are not. No, right that's now. that's not really? a comfort. No, it's not. I, I know, you know, there are things I know what I would try and what I wouldn't try. Even when I love to try every other thing, but knowing that particular sky is not for me. <laughs> it's not I for do. Me. I, I think I'm just a very adventurous person. I definitely want to do something like that. I would love to do that. That would be totally out of the comfort zone. And I want to try one day. And I would like them to see a video of that. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll be up with the camera. Really? And now that brings us down to, you know, there's this thing called the growth ring. And it has like four stages. And it has the first stage is stagnation, then you have uh, order, then you have complexity, then you go over to chaos. Like the stagnation is you are in your comfort zone somewhere, but you, there is no growth happening. You're not going forward, neither are you going backward. You're just there, nothing is happening. And then moving to the order is when all your activities are programmed. Like practically everybody knows what this person next like you know that kind like of like those thing. of us that used to say i live a triangular life like yeah. from home to church from no from from home to work from work to church and church back home please and that's, that's it's like it's they, they know where you are where you would be at that point that, once it's five like right? mm, she would be in church by now yeah. or when it's when it's eight like, she should be at home you understand like we know where you are at a specific time of the day and now that is you being in your comfort zone and you know it's nice to like switch up things and explore new varieties try so new things. things exactly do yeah, stuffs yeah. that you yeah. do stuffs that probably you've seen you've enjoyed watching people do you've always wanted to you've always want to try it yeah. but you know your comfort zone is not letting you and why don't you just one day break out of it and try you know just give it a try let's see how it goes it's like you Definitely. Okay. We we'll try. We'll try. It. <laughs> but please, it's on now. Whatever happens <laughs> after or that. before or doing. But then it's, it's on just that. like an example, an illustration. Yeah, it is. Always try to like do things that you would love to do. Let's just like just imagine no one is watching. Just imagine there's no rule to life. There's no rule to live your life. Just imagine there's as a, there's there's nothing like just you and a free spirit, just you with a spirit, uh, free spirit, just you doing what you love doing, you doing what gives you peace, what gives you joy. Now most of these things we get it in our comfort zone, but then without you be, uh, without you being able to explore and try other things. Yeah. Now this brings us like in the growth, trying to get now in the complexity level, like there are step by where you can try breaking out the comfort zone. And one of them can be the loss of opportunity. Like for example, the loss of job. Like people are so comfortable, get comfortable in their job, okay, okay. that they don't tend to imagine what other things they can actually do. So most of the time when people lose their job, that's when they tend to relax and start and, and you know this like um this this particular thing has actually happened to me oh, now wow. it wasn't it wasn't really it wasn't a loss of job it was me working in a particular place i got too comfortable there because you know it was just it was a regular routine you know wake up wait, exactly. going to work in the morning yeah. doing you, you know what to do in the morning you know what you're doing you just do the same thing every day then you go every home day. every day so i got comfortable because i knew what to do next i knew what i was supposed to do at what time so i felt you know i, I felt as i felt like a guru at that particular time because i but you know at some point um, some a friend of mine 
called me, they told me, okay, you've been at this place for a while now, you know, what have you, how have you grown, as in, what have yeah, you done, impact, yeah, exactly. what impact, what have, how has this organization impacted in your life, you know, what have you gained, have you grown, have you done this, now, how, um, when, like, what, what's your next step, do you want okay. to continue in this particular place, or don't you think you've gathered enough, you know, um, knowledge and stuff to move on to the next level, yeah. And I was like, oh really? Move on to the next level. Like starting from like starting yeah. all over again. And that's actually the way. Yeah, yeah, I was exactly. like, do I have to start all over again? Now, my fear then was starting all over again. You know, I already got a job. I was comfortable with it. Even though the pay wasn't really comfortable. I was just comfortable with the job. And starting from scratch was a problem to me because I had to find the long story short, I had to resign and I did I did what the next thing to do. Start from scratch. And God to help me, I got something way better and more yes. challenging. You know, the thing yes. is, the, the thing is, um, I got to know that where while I was on my previous job, there was nothing challenging anymore. You know, I got everything. I was able to do things. That I was, you know, I I got everything I wanted to do. Yeah. I knew things I was supposed to do from things not to be done. Mm-hmm. Even though we still you know, we then we call it stone. When you're, when you're being queried by your boss, so it was, it was like, hey, she just got, she just got a stone from boss. You understand? Yeah. So it was like me, in a nutshell, like it was me breaking out of my comfort zone. At that point. At that exactly. point. Now that is that is uh, one level of the comfort zone. Now that's why I said comfort zone is not necessarily you moving out of it, uh, moving out of your home, doing something. Exactly. Else. Comfort zone is where you, when you're too comfortable in it, in like thing. when you're too comfortable in a place that is stopping you from growing like stopping you from moving to the next level stopping yeah. you from doing things you to improve you yourself exactly. to expand yeah. your knowledge or just expanding you now that's the comfort zone and that's what you need to break yeah. out from and breaking it from that um your job you could see that you could actually get more potential mm-hmm. and gain more potential so that's like one of the things how we can get to our complicity level you know being forced upon us like lots of the or quitting your job Another one where we can get to our complicity level is we can, someone can help us get there. You know, sometimes people say that's external. Some people, people just need external. It can be your parents or maybe could even be a friend, a friend, or even your job. Maybe in your office and you have like a new role delegated yeah. to you and you have to work and probably you know nothing about that. At that point. You, you try to move above your mm-hmm. potentials, your ability to like get to know, okay, this is a new stuff. You know, so it's like the battle. That's why I said like, it's the faces you can, the things you're going to go through, it's you being scared, you failing, because you fail. Yeah. You, no, it, it, you know, it's, it's, why, it's, it tends to happen. Yeah. Why is that fail? Because it's you trying out things you've never done. Exactly. So you're not expected to be perfect. Mm-hmm. You are trying new things, so you def- you don't, you're not expected to get things like okay. just at that point so you, you are training how you fail you try again you fail you continue trying and failing to you finally try and succeed yeah, so, so that's how it is so don't believe and don't do it welcome to me to start yes you to say matters welcome back everyone and we're still on the topic the comfort zone breaking out of your comfort zone now we are going to be talking about ways and steps how on how we can break out of our comfort zone but before then guys the comfort <laughs> zone is not a bad place to be. at all it's not a bad place to be like it's it's really not a terrible thing i would rather say we can expand our comfort zone so that it doesn't become as because people think when they talk about the comfort zone either people don't know it know about the comfort zone so, or people think it's a bad thing but really, talking about the comfort zone, it's not a bad thing. It's just you identifying that, okay, this place I'm, I am at this point, I'm not seeing any growth. I'm not seeing me maximizing my potential, and I should do more. Then you finding ways on how to do more. That's just it's well, like, it's, actually, yeah. um, your comfort zone is not just like saying the thing is people still grow in their comfort zone. Yeah, when you're in your comfort zone, it's not necessarily you're not growing, you're not expanding. But the thing is, you expand more when you move out, out of, of your comfort zone. zone. Yeah. Like you grow your community and your network. Mm. 
when you go out of your comfort zone. Now, being in your comfort zone is just like you creating a security, like um, a fence around you mm. that helps you um, live your daily life, your job, your relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, it's just like a guideline for you. Yeah. Like it's your own um, guideline to how you want to live your life, mm -hmm. which could be beneficial to, to you. you. Yeah. You know, yes. okay. even, even before we started, I told that like it's a two-way stuff. It's a two like two sided two sided topic, you know. Because I feel like at the end of the day, everybody, everyone should have a comfort zone. I guess because guys, it's not easy out here. Actually, I think everyone should easy. have a comfort zone. You know, yeah. a place where you feel most comfortable. Exactly. So you can like go back and recharge. Like a place where you plug where you plug yourself, you recharge, you strategize, and exactly. do things. Yeah. You, should, you should have that as your comfort zone where you tend to go and improve on the other now time. when when your comfort zone begins to uh, i would say when your comfort when your comfort zone is not getting to um, it's getting the way of your growth mm -hmm. when your comfort zone is um, hindering you from expanding from exploring and from growing now that is when it's uh, would i say it's a bad thing yeah because exactly. it shouldn't your comfort zone is just like a place where you re-strategize it's a place where um it's just like it's just like a cage you've created yeah. where you fall back on if anything goes wrong or if you train something doesn't like you taking risks doesn't really work out well for you now it's something you fall back on now but when it's stopping you from doing otherwise and it's stopping you from doing things you're meant to yeah. do now you become, you when become extremely be. comfortable and lazy people tend yeah. to be very lazy when they are in their comfort zone they start giving excuses okay fine i can't do that okay no it's not in my potential, you know. That's the comfort zone hindering you, like you said, from actually moving up. When, when you, let's say, for example, you you studied a particular course and they're asking you to do something way out of yeah, the I'm exactly. like, oh no, that was, that was what I studied. Exactly. I have no business in that line. Who told you I have no yes. business in that line? And this now, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's why I say you expand, like exactly. you know, grow, yeah. do stuff. Now that is that's that's what I mean when I said if it's stopping you from doing those things. It's a bad thing. Now, this will take us away by which we can step out of our comfort zone. And one of them is like being aware of what's outside of your comfort zone. Like you have to discover, you have to know your potential of what, what are those things you are scared of. For me, that's really how I think, I tend to, you know, ask, being, be aware of the things I'm getting. First of all, what are the things I'm getting too comfortable with? And then what are the things I am very scared of? So I tend to like try them because I'm, I'm this like, that's how I break out. Yeah, so and that's how I break out. When you so get to you know, know like, the, okay, I think first should be what are the things you're comfortable with? Yeah. Then the other should be why are you comfortable in this? Yeah, thing? Why are you exactly. comfortable with this particular exactly. thing? Then so it's how to break loose from it. So that's yeah. like being aware. Yeah, being aware of what, how to break out, being aware of what's outside of your comfort zone then another part of you know breaking out of your comfort zone is taking baby steps you know you can't for someone who is really shy and wants to break out of that circle so you want to like be interacting with people more you can't come out and start giving the book. you can't just become a public speaker exactly so you ha it has to start like gradually from your why don't you even start with yeah? Why don't you start with you communicating more with people in your environment? Exactly. Start with uh, your neighbors. Yeah, your neighbors. You know, exactly. of it that you don't even know your neighbor's name. Mm -hmm. Now start start with that. Like because you coming out and you are, you you have an opportunity to talk to a very big crowd. I don't think it's possible. Like just little steps, take baby steps. You know that's like one very essential way of breaking out of your comfort zone. And I also think um, reading like. Gaining yeah, more knowledge, knowledge you know, yeah. you know, read on how to break loose from shyness, yeah. how to, you know, um, read books on public speaking, mm -hmm. you know, read books on stuff, read books on what you're, what you're trying to break loose from. Now, yeah. that those, you know, when you have, um, Inside, more, knowledge. yeah, when you have more knowledge on what you're trying to do, it actually helps you more in the outside world. Mm -hmm. It makes things easier because you already know the do's from the don't. Yeah. Instead of going out and failing, you know, even though you still fail as your first um, attempt. Now, you know, surprisingly, there are some people that actually do not fail. Like, yeah. they get things right, you know, okay, yeah. easily from their first attempt. But then, it could be you, it could not be you, 
but still try to you know, know something about what you're trying to do first exactly. before going to the public yeah. to do it. Another step in how to you know break out of your comfort zone is you know you should hang out more with high risk takers. So this for example, yeah, for example, I have a friend, Cyprian. Oh my goodness. He would literally do anything dangerous, like that would be a way. You should have, you should, you know, people who are high risk, if you're friends with them, they tend to like push you. Yeah. You know, like what said, one of the steps to getting to your competitive level is to be treated by people. Now, when you have high risk that around you, people who do stuff, who are, these people are fearless. Their confidence level is a very high risk. You know, they are ready to fail, they are ready to it's like a part of them. When you have friends with them, when you hang out with them, you tend to, you know, complete, complete what and that's doing. I think that's what they call influence. Yeah, you know, exactly. show me your friend. And, and I'll tell you who you with are. With time, even if, even if they don't um, directly force you or exactly. that, you, yeah, with time, you would, even, you would want to, you know, when you see them yeah. do it every time, you just stand over and say, let me go try this. Thing. Exactly. Like, I want to also try with you guys. So that's how you, you, you don't know how they get to influence you. But trust me, with time you just move out of your comfort zone. So and, and, and that's that you have to know the you know your kind of person because you your own comfort zone. I might be someone who is very adventurous, you know, that is like what I love to do. And you on the other hand, you just like the homeland. Going out with me is going to like push you overboard your name, you know. So it's just like picking the right group of people at this point. That's why we also say be aware of whatever phobia you have. Yeah. So you can know how to tackle it. Yeah. Then another step in which you can break out of your comfort zone is failure. You should take failure as a teacher. She, she mentioned it actually. Failure should, you should learn from your failures. It's not the end of the world. There is always, I always say that there is room for failure. I always tell myself it's doing whatever I'm doing. I can fail, I can succeed well. We will learn from experience. You know? you know, even even though we usually don't like failing, yes. like there's, yes. this, there's this part of us that oh my almost goodness. give up after a failure. But trust me, we are strong. Mm. We should be you know, able to, you know, but to. Growing up, I think I had this like failing. Oh my goodness, was a no no for me. I had this mentality that once I'm called to do something, I I, I try to analyze it. Once I've seen any stuff i'm like oh no i'm not doing this and, then, and like, it's, it's really bad to the point that okay uh when i when i set out to play tags and i end up with that probably there's a flop somewhere and it's been called to my attention you know i just feel this weight i don't know from no yeah. tears just starts dropping like it happens. really but like me yeah. fail as i know from where you will see why you just stand me up and so now Um, always, you know, I really at some time, at some point, I would really not want like to try it. Yeah, it makes you want to try. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I but would then, really not want to try it. Again. Yeah, I just think that it's not my thing. You know, let me give this story. I think when I was in secondary school, we, I had, I do beauty pageants and all of those stuff. So I did this one. I was hundred percent sure I was going to win because I just had to win. But something, something happened along the line. I came out second position, second position. Like, oh my god. So 
uh, we'll briefly take you through the benefits of leaving your comfort zone. Yeah. And one is leaving your comfort zone leads to success. Mm -hmm. And leaving your comfort zone, you know, um, you, when you fail and you want to try it back, it helps you, like, you get this awareness that you don't want to fail the same thing. Yeah. So it's kind of open you up to really research, like, you make more research. You, um, you go, you know, you try to read more on the topic, you try to do mm. stuff, you know, like you would, you, the thing is you'd be more prepared than you did the first time. Exactly. And with that you become, that's like, with that you just succeed in that particular thing you're doing. Yeah. But that's why most people, you know, when they fail the first time, the second time they're getting it right. Exactly, because it happens do, a lot. Yeah. yeah, once you fail the first time, the second time you're getting it right, that's, it leads to your success because you, you know, become aware that, you become aware yeah. of the first failure, you don't want it to be step to you know so you know as I, like i said for me moving out of my parents had been like the major part of me moving out of my comfort zone so at that point it totally changed my perspective and insight on how i view mm -hmm. things and even how i react to some situations i feel like i go wiser and better to some extent and that takes me back that if i stayed back or still settled there i think most of the things I do now, I don't think I should have been able to, you know, expose to them. Because leaving your comfort zone gives you this exposure. For exposure, you sure. You don't even know what's out there waiting for you. And also, it creates lots of opportunities. So yeah, leaving your comfort zone, that's one of the benefits. You get lots of insight and different perspectives that you have in your life. Now, um, another benefit is it helps you expand your community and yeah, your network. Exactly. Now, it's, you know, being in your comfort zone, you, you tend not to meet with people. You, like, you, have, you, um, you block every um, connection yeah. you get. Now, breaking free from your comfort zone is you meeting with people, connecting with people, you're exchanging contacts, going out, going to places, meeting new faces. Now, with that, you know, you just, you just expand. You exactly. network, you know what they call networking. So you just network with people, you meet people, you guys exchange contact, and you never know when you need each other. So that's it. Now I uh, would we'll call it a wrap on yeah. breaking free from your comfort uh, comfort yeah. zone. To see you same time, same channels, Tons TV, um, seven thirty p.m. to eight p.m. And guys, for that. You should let us know what are your comfort zones and how you can break out of that. We really appreciate you guys. Tell us that. Or uh, if you're a person who already broke out of his exactly, or her comfort zone, yeah. please feel free to let us know what steps you took, what how you um, got to break free from your um, comfort zone, and how you whatever you've benefited from going out of your comfort zone and how it has helped you in life. And please do not forget to click on the subscribe button. Yes, guys. We remain here as Kazim Amulana. And we have something. Bye. Till next time. See ya.